It's just about the easiest schedule you can possibly have and still play in the SEC Western Division, and it belongs to the Ole Miss Rebels. Mark Rogers TV analyzing every Power 5 conference schedule. We're breaking them down per league. Then we're going to compile them all together, rank them 1 through 66. It's a daunting task. It's even a daunting task to rank them within the SEC. So we ranked all the schedules, and yes, all the Western Division schedules, more difficult than all the Eastern Division schedules. I tried to find an Eastern Division schedule tougher than a Western team's. Didn't happen. So Ole Miss with the easiest of the Western Division schedules, but tougher than Georgia's toughest Eastern Division schedule. Try to make sense out of that. All right, for Ole Miss, this is the reason why it's the easiest in the West. Okay, they play all the heavyweights we know. Bama, Arkansas, Mississippi State, of course, in the Egg Bowl, LSU, Auburn, Texas A&M. Okay, who do they play in the other division? That's what's key. So, for example, we just talked about Georgia having to play Alabama and Auburn from the West. That's about the toughest draw you can have. Ole Miss from the East Gets a pretty light touch in Florida, relatively speaking. The Gators, capable, have talent, but have their issues and look like another six-win team as they were last season in the regular season. And they've got Vandy. Vandy shouldn't even be in the SEC the way they played last year. Vandy is deplorable. And unless they prove us wrong, uh, based on the 13 or the 12 games last season and going 3-9, and 0-8 in the conference. So Ole Miss has... The light touch in Vandy, they always have Vandy, and they lucked out on that cross-division rivalry, and they've got uh, Florida. So it's about as light as it can get unless you want to throw in Kentucky instead of Florida. So Ole Miss, again, very respectable schedule because of the division they play in, but got the light touch non-conference or non-division, and then out of conference, forget it. This is embarrassing. Ole Miss, be embarrassed. This drives me crazy. Do you want to play big-time college football, and do you want to compete for a national championship? There is no way we can evaluate teams that don't play anybody. It's bad enough that teams only play one tough team, that an Alabama only plays a Wisconsin, that Alabama only played West Virginia last year, That and you can go on down the line. Most teams only play the one game. Texas A&M, for the last several years, has played nobody out of conference Finally, they've got Arizona State this year. I applaud South Carolina for playing Central Florida and North Carolina and Clemson. Most teams play one. Ole Miss and Mississippi State, for some reason, I don't know what it is about the Magnolia State. They don't like to play anyone out of conference, typically. Tennessee Martin, Fresno State, New Mexico State, Memphis. Okay, Memphis, a decent American Athletic Conference team. They won a bowl game over BYU. They went like 9-4, and four, whatever they went last year. Okay, but they're not a Power 5 legitimate team. Uh, that can be seen by the Liberty Bowl matchup between the SEC 10 seed and the Conference USA champion. So the American Athletic Conference, Conference USA, pretty much on the same level. We saw what Mississippi State did to Rice a couple years ago. The champion of Conference USA when Mississippi State was like three and five. So this is why this doesn't matter Ole Miss playing a Memphis. I don't mind them playing Memphis if they went out and played Oklahoma State. They played Georgia Tech. They played Michigan State. They played somebody else, but they don't play anyone. Fresno State's been tough in the past. Not tough now. Don't expect to be that tough this year. They were annihilated by anybody decent they played last year. So Fresno State might be, maybe Memphis, the two toughest non-conference games. The other one's Tennessee Martin and, uh, yeah, Fresno State, Memphis, Tennessee Martin, New Mexico State. That's right. Forgot that one. So Ole Miss, you get the seventh toughest schedule in the SEC. And it's still a tough schedule because of the division you play in. But you got to play out of conference. You did it last year with Boise State. You did it the two previous years against Texas. Maybe you just couldn't get it done. You couldn't find a partner uh, this year, possibly. Uh, but otherwise, can't respect that schedule. It's Ole Miss. It's their 2015 schedule right here on Mark Rogers TV. Need to hear from you.